of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago i've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago a year ago hey guys welcome back to the Ding garage and what are we doing we got to do? boom working on a key final is going on the hatchback right here thank you to my boy jamie rosario we hook it up with a fucking chain that i've been looking for a while say hello to a couple of subscribers to chilling on the car i'm patiently look Welcome to YouTube. Hit like, hit share, subscribe, guys. What we're we doing here? We're about to put Manny's case swap in. We have the clutch that Joe, you know this guy from TikTok. If you don't follow him on TikTok, I don't know what you guys are doing. This is Manny, the, the the beast over here, and we're putting that together. And after that, we got the transmission, the clutch. We're gonna drop it in. As you can see, all the lines are gone. You can see all oh, the new goodies are there. We got everything going on the vehicle. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna cut the video. We're gonna move this car out of the way. We're gonna put that motor together, drop it in, the harness, everything. So maybe in a more simple day, we can start it up. Stay tuned. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is Hey guys, welcome back So today, today Is the second day, the guys are gone We got the motor in As uh, you can see, I already got the gato put back on And everything, we few missing a few things I got a six pick transmission on it um, yeah, putting all these beautiful K2 parts back on. I put the harness. This not is the not the back cover that we put on this vehicle. I'm just doing this right now, so we can match up everything, all the sensors, everything out, speed sensors, everything like that. We do have the gato right here with the big injectors right there, and we also have the water electric water pump on there. The throttle body's right here. We are missing that. We are ordering a new one. We are gonna order a fuel rail, not fuel rail, fuel pressure regulator for this. The, the brake lines have to be done from that to there. I got the headers. We're gonna to have to take it to Dan 
on timeless imports when we buy the custom piping from the down so he can make a cutout they always always want to have cut out on this car we did buy the two axles left and right i do have the drive shaft for this i do have the transmission this car is almost 90 percent done i do have the harness from the inside so what are we missing that's the harness right there this is the headers and i got the half shaft right there oh there they go I got the hash shaft right there. I got the headers. I got the ECU. So, and that's where the, the bottom lines are coming on. There's a top lines coming up. And I got to put the, that right there. The reservoirs in the floor right there. I mean, that reservoir the, with the brakes right in the corner. With that said, I got 90% of the shit done here. And that's where the brake line come in. You can see I got the, I got everything here. Everything. Shifters on the floor because we need a space to move around. You know, all that is right here. So, with that said, it's been an honor to work on this car, man. From three months ago that we got it to now, it's been very, very, very good. And we are about to, you know, we're working on all these projects. I one hand the shop, but, you know, I think man is going to be happy when this car's on the road having fun and burning gears. Six feet transmission that you got right now. We also have um, the other the other Civic over there. They're getting another case swap put on. We still got to put a few things here and there on, on this build. We had to get a trial sensor, fix a couple things in the harness. Um, the cables, I gotta put them in, oh, line them up, so it's gonna go. Um, that means I gotta put the shifter on, put the cables in right here where it belongs to. Then I gotta run the, the brake lines. And I gotta take this out, and get the, the, the master cylinder line running. And then figure it out, I'm gonna put, pump this up or take this out like I did with Integra and bolt it up, up over here so I can put the, the radiator on this side like I did with Integra at one point. I'm gonna have a hose coming from there to the bottom and one hose from here to here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna buy that aftermarket or not. The starter's already done and put on there. Um, There's a different little stuff set up that we have in CRX, but it will work. I, it's a Saturday, I don't really want to get super dirty, but I got to lift the car in the air, put the half shaft axle in, put the shaft axles in the back of it. Um, on Integra, it is a, the motor's already put in. I got somebody to come and take a look at it. Hopefully we can sell it. Around here, from the other video that we were filming the other day, we have the motor outside, nice and clean, ready to put on. We got a couple of modifications here on the engine bay. We get it done. But this Civic right here is, it went from zero to 60 in one day. And thanks to Tony, Joe, Manny, everybody was here helping out. That's what we did. We got it done. And uh, man, it's looking like a beast right now. Finally, it's in on the EG, the K swap on the EG. So when you do this cars, right, K swap, I got a, one, a couple of guys asking me, what will you do? It's very easy. You got to release this mount right here, weld it or bolt it in. Uh, this one, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but all the harness is already built in inside. So that's what you're going to see how much harness for the headlights. We are about to put the fuse box here. As a matter of fact, I was going to the junk, I get one. I'm going to put it right here. And that right there should give me uh, the fuse box right here to give me access to it, bolted in, OEM style. It had no problem. Um, radiator wise, we're using the small one goes over there. I got a few lines at home I got to bring over. Um, besides that, not much. Tony got to do his magic so he can run the, the inside harness. It's not that hard. Put the thing and then make sure the car starts with a battery on it and run a fuel pump on it and start it up. You know, right here, the middle of the hour. It's just on his cell phone all morning. Look at that cheeseburgers. Ordering food. Yeah. Right there. 
So I'm gonna go to the junk and get the fuse box. Bro, I was just thinking, the fuse box in the in the coop. Oh, hopefully it's still there. Yeah, I wanna go go with the 10 millimeter bolt and I go get it, get it. And you know, and I bring it home. I bring it right now. Uh, we can use the fuse box, I think, from that one too, if it has it. I'm, I'm not planning to buy that car right now because that car is gonna be sitting in the trap. But I might go to the junk there real quick and get that. Well, that's a 10 millimeter and eight bolts, and I just get it, come bring it over. Bring it back and put it on. I might need a dollar though. I don't have a dollar. Oh. Hey guys, I got a big uh, thank you shout out to one of my subscribers, Angel Ramos. Thank you, thank you, Angel Ramos, for sending me that ECU. Bro, it's gonna be, Angel is gonna be well used on one of the cars. I really appreciate it sending you this to me. It's very, very close to my heart. So, thank you, Angel. And I'll be looking out for that K24, that, I mean, K20 you're looking for, or K24, let me know which one is the second one you're looking for, bro. Thank you, thank you for that, all right? All right, guys, so on this today, I think I'm gonna color the quick today. Um, I did the harness on it. I gotta bring the old, the new valve cover to the from the, the house to here the one that's going to go here i do have the new axles like i told you guys i did the harness i went to the junkyard and got the fuse box over there you can see it right there i got the fuse box that's what it's going to be located on um this is the inside harness so everything's mounted today um uh, i don't want to bolt that on because i have to go by basically the I tried a, a couple other things we had to buy. The car is almost there, man. Thanks to my crew man over there and all the people that I mentioned earlier. Guys, have a good day. Thank you, thank you for everything you guys have done for us. Hit subscribe, hit like, match that subscribe, and do not forget to go to this gentleman YouTube channel. What is it again? The News OKEK. There we go. Get it going, guys. See you guys later. Bye. Hello.